Hello and welcome to Crime and Justice. Yesterday, in the UK, in London, there was a march to unite Great Britain. I didn't go. I wish I had. But I sat and watched it. And God, I was so proud of everyone, every person that went there. So proud of everyone that organised it, that, because there was no arrests during the march, no troubles. There's, um, I think... At the end of the day, there may have been, at the end of the day, I mean by that, by the time, closing time came, the pub's closed, there's maybe four, five, a handful of arrests. But there was no arrest made during the march or when they were stood there listening to those on the stage. No arrests. Now that is flipping good when you see the amount of people that turned up for that day. Tommy Robinson, even though you hear his name being shouted out all the time, this march was not for Tommy Robinson. It was a march to unite the UK. A march to unite the citizens of Great Britain, that's Wales, Scotland, England, Ireland. We had, they had a Palestinian flag. Because don't forget, there are Christians in Palestine. Christians who are now being um, t- tortured, killed, anything to get them out of their homes in Palestine. Yep. The Lebanons have gone, the people in Lebanon have now going after the Christians in Lebanon. So, we had a Palestine flag there, we had the Irish flag, the UK flag, the British, the Scottish, the Welsh, you name it, we had those flags there. And I, I dare anyone to call this a racist march because it was nowhere near a racist march. I will show you clips of a racist march though. But here we are going to look at the march from just a little a short clip, okay? As you can see in the, the picture. This goes right back. The meeting place was to start at this train station. I believe it's Victoria train station. They had to move them forward because so many people was turning up. So, so many. And I'm going to also show you a clip of the police. And this, I seen a clip yesterday and people was wanting to join This march, right? They could see them at the end of this road. You could see them eye to eye, see them. But oh no, the police said, no, 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 you can't go that way. You've got to go like two miles down that road, three miles down this other road, and then four miles back up the other road. Oh yeah. Those make them go literally miles out of their way just to join. Now, that is, a pa- the rest of the police, the police on this march, that was great. The police, when we got to the point where the stand was, they were fab. But the police further up these side roads, no, no, more than their jobs were to let them go 100 feet down the road. 100 feet, if not, say 200, to get in to join up with them lot. They wasn't having that. And I'm going to show you a clip of that. 
and right. But for now, I'm just going to revel in the glory of this because I was so proud yesterday watching this. This is not this, the buffering is not me, this is from yesterday. Oh, by the way, on every news clip I've seen of them showing of this march, that's the picture they've got. I mean, they look at us as all thugs, far right. And that's the picture. Should I keep going with that's this bridge a bit of a video is what they keep going with. I don't know what the place we're running for, there's no need for it, there weren't needed. The other week, there was a big protest by... Oh, there's some police there. But in a minute, I think it's on this video, you'll see. They've got police on... What are citizens? Come out. They don't throw anything slanderous out there. Well, there was one slanderous one chance and to be honest with you i kind of agree with them but it's not the point there was no like the, on the palestinian march which was also going at the same time they was going they had this chance saying follow your leader follow your leader shoot yourself like uh what's uh hitler did and they was allowed to say that. Follow your leader. Follow your leader. Shoot yourself like Hitler did. If we had a chance to something like that, they'd have had every one of us arrested. So let's carry on. <laughs> Move them all forward to here. Because there were so many outside the uh, train station. And a lot of them thought they were being kettled in. They wasn't being kettled in, they just moved them forward because so many turned up. Look, and that goes way back there, way, way back there. As far as the eye can see, if not further. Made me so proud to see all those flags. The British, the United Kingdom, the Irish, the Welsh, even the Palestinians. Because as we say, we don't care where you're from. Where you're from, the Jewish. We don't care where you're from. As long as you love our country, like we love our country, then you're more than welcome. But if you're coming to this country to rape and abuse our children, to rape and kill our women, then no, we don't want you. Now, I'll just show you that as a quick, quick one. Because 
if I show them again. Because I'm gonna show you another one. If I go in my oh god, let's get off this. Right, if I go in my downloads. I should have this one in my downloads. Yeah, we'll show you some of this. This is some more of the march that went on yesterday. If it will open up for me. From, uh, this well, is my you see. London, the march towards Parliament has officially started uh, right behind me. Uh, we've got the security also helping with everything and the police. Uh, uh, we have uh, tens of thousands of uh, British patriots who have been joined by other supporters from all around the world as well. We have people from Australia, the United States, the Netherlands, Germany, France, everybody is from London. Uh, the, the, the Iranian supporters are here, Israelis, the Jewish community are all out here as well uh, to unite the kingdom. Um, we're going to show you what we are seeing. So this is the front of the march, obviously. Uh, people have already started walking early. Um, the police are actually are not blocking it. The police are just on the side, as you can see, a couple of police officers there. So we are free to actually go forward. We got the, the voice of Wales. Dan. <laughs> <laughs> Now, let's see how peaceful it is. So let me show you. Can I'm you hear any racist chants? It's, it's completely insane. Where's no. the banner? Oh, we're in the... No racist <laughs> chants. So we got the banner here. This is the front of the march. We have everybody already here. We got look at the crazy march. We got Richard there. We've got Paul Thorpe over there. Everybody already. How's it going, right? We got the Israeli flags. Security. I'm just seeing if he shows where he goes over to the other side. Not sure if this is Look how many there are there. There's absolutely thousands. Right? There are thousands there. Now I'm trying to find the one where when you went over to I don't know if this is it, but we'll have a look. We apologize for the delay. We have... Right, let's have a look. I think this might be. Yeah. They're still following us, guys. <laughs> They're saying shoot yourself. Like I don't think. It's our fly kick, Lady. Oh, that's so good. They're still following me. They're still pushing me. The police are now. I've created the line between. Yeah, them. He and he's two bodyguards. And then. Yeah, <laughs> oh! You can't hit, you can't hit. You, don't touch. These are two buggy dogs, one there and one the other side. They have two buggy dogs. In fact, all the organizers of this. Oh, well, 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 yes, well, well. It had buggy dogs. Oh. Personal buggy dogs. Hang on, hang on, wait, wait, wait. We got that, we got that. Refugees are welcome here. 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 Refugees are welcome here.
the police now. Oh, 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 now, can I just say something here? They are calling Tuesday, Maya Tuesday, and all us patriots, Nazi scum. Right? Now, if I'm correct in thinking, was it not Hitler, right? Who murdered, unalived, millions, millions of Jews. Yeah, was it not Hitler? Right? Now, what are Palestinians doing? Their, their teams of people do. They are killing Jews. So who's more like Hitler? Us, who are protecting the Jews, right? Or this group, this other group, that are more like Hitler because the people they support are killing Jews. So please explain to me, lad, who's more like Hitler? British patriots who are protecting the Jews, who love the Jews, you know what I mean? We love everyone. Or the Palestinian groups who are out there every weekend doing their little marches, mouthing off on their big loud speakers, which we're getting really, really pissed off with now, ranting on about from the river to the sea, and we all know what that means, right? And then they're going, follow your leader, shoot yourself like, uh, like Hitler did. And they don't get arrested. They don't get arrested. They was vile. Absolute vile. And you just seen clips of yesterday's video of like yesterday's march. There was no violence, there was no shouting of this or what well there was one rather suspicious ch chant. <laughs> and I'm not gonna play it. Right? But there was nothing threatening people. It went off so smoothly with that amount of people there. It went off beautiful, absolutely beautiful. And I'm, as a British person, born in the UK, born in England, now living in Scotland, I am so proud, so proud of everyone that went there yesterday. I'm so proud of the organisers, and I swear to God, if they arrange another march, I don't care, I am going down there. I will book into a bed and breakfast, right, for two nights, the night before the march and the night after the march. I can get the train down there and get the train back. I will save the money up. I will be down there. I am going. Right? I haven't gone to the last three. I didn't know about the first one. I knew about the second one. But, like, for that, third one, I did know about. But I was on and ring and all this lot, and I thought, well, it's a bit close to Christmas and all this lot. But, no, there's another one, and I can do it, and I can get the train, pay for the train fare, and my uh, stay, my two nights over stay, because I wouldn't go down one day and come back the next. I'd go down the day before the march, go to the march the next day, and then come back the day after. So it's like three days. Now, from Scotland to England, that's a lot of travelling. It really is in three days. I'll be absolutely wiped out, but I can sleep on the train. I can sleep. So I'm going to the next one. I want to show my spot. Oh, I wish I'd gone this year, this time, I really do. Anyway, as my title says, Richard Tice has just shot himself and reform. Well, you could say he's committed political S U I C I D E. I can't say the word, but you can understand what I'm saying. S U I D I D E. Suicide. 
whatever. Right? Political. Because after yesterday's fantastic day, great organisation, they even left the area clean. They even left the area clean. No rubbish anywhere. It was all bagged up, picked up, bagged up, got rid of. You would never have thought there would been a march on of tens of thousands of people yesterday. There was families there with children. There's grandparents. There's people in wheelchairs. People from America, Australia, all over you, all over the world came to support the British, the great British people, Great Britain, to support Great Britain. Not not England, not Wales, not Scotland, not Ireland. We're all one. Great Britain, the United Kingdom, we're all one. Just listen to what he says here. And how many people, oh, I bet there's going to be a lot of people not voting for these after this. Listen to what he says. Just check it's being up here. Yep. Because I don't want you to miss this. Let's get the right one. Listen very carefully. I'll oh, play it several times. What do you make of Tommy Robinson? Is he a good guy? In no, your eyes? No, 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 no. I had it speeded up to get to this section, so I'm sorry for that. I will slow it back down. And we'll just come back to... Better. Right. Let's get up from there. By the way, when you Lovely. leave the studio, so good luck with that. Um, Tommy Robinson... Shall I answer your questions? I know you do, and I appreciate that, and so do the audience. Uh, Tommy Robinson, people have been protesting in his name. What do you make of Tommy Robinson? Is he a good guy, in no, your eyes? No, no. He, no. All of that lot, we have nothing to do with what, them. Even the protesters who have got banners up saying, to tier care, you agree? None of that lot. That means the tens of thousands of people that went yesterday is none of that lot. All the people that sat and watched it and was willing among yesterday. You know what I mean? Supported them from the sofas, from the armchairs, from wherever they were. They were supporting them. All of that lot. Well, kiss your ass goodbye. Because you've just committed political S-U-I-C-I-D-E. Because now, people will not be voting for reform. I was a bit sus about them, I must admit. Because I'm thinking, oh, on, wasn't Nigel Farage part of the UKIP? Now he's got this one. It's like a flip-flopping. It's flip-flops about. Right? It's just flip-flopping wherever he thinks he should be. So, I was a bit, mm, about reform. And I'm thinking, what happened to you, Kip, then? You, Kip, are still there. You, Kip, are still out there trying their best to get the votes to get some people in the uh, thing. If anyone is going to stop these votes, to stop these illegal immigrants, to get rid of, to, to deport the illegal immigrants, even those in prison who have committed such terrible such crimes, when they come out, he's the one who will be deporting them. And that is you keep. You keep, not reform. We thought we had a party with reform. But over the last couple of months, Nigel Farage has been showing his true colours. They're not even an actual party. They are an organisation. Right? They're not actually an actual party where their members can vote off. Can say, like with Labour or Conservatives or Liberals, if they don't like their leader, they can put a vote in and get him kicked off. Yeah? They can't do that with reform because they haven't got that vote for the people, the members. 
right? So, who will I be voting for? And I will vote next time. Oh, God, I will vote. Believe me, I'm voting. Because I'm going to be watching this over the next four years, four or five years we've got, of this tyrannical government, Labour, with false promises. No, we won't touch the elderly's uh, winter fuel payments. No, we won't put taxes up. No, we won't do this. What do they do? Hey, they stopped the Rwanda boat thing. That was a deterrent. May not have been a good one, but it was a deterrent. Right? What did that then? Did they, oh, yeah. They cut winter fuel allowance to those who aren't, who are like private pensions. Just because they've worked all their life and they've earned a, a got their own work private pension, they won't be getting the winter fuel payment now. Uh, and don't forget, electric bills and heating bills are all going up, which he said he would not have have happened. He said he would stop it all from going up. Oh, no. We're going to have so many elderly die this year. So many. I've just seen my electric, right? In the past three weeks, yeah, since my daughter's been here, and I've had my heating on for a while, my daughter was there, and I've had it on nearly all day because it didn't want the moaning and cold. Now, I don't feel the cold like they do. If I do, what do I do? I put my snoozy on or a cardigan on, you know what I mean? I'll put my heating on in the morning just to take the chill off my flat. And I put it on again about six ish. Six, seven o'clock. But while my grandkids are there, I've been having it on all day. While my daughter and her grand my little, her little boy was there, I was having it on all day. I have gone through now some people might think this isn't a lot. But I've just gone through fifty five about fifty three fifty to say £52 in electric in three weeks. I don't normally go through £40 in a month. £40 isn't enough to keep me going for the whole month. And I've gone through £52, £52 so far. And that's without the increase going on. So you wait till the increase goes up. The electric goes up. I'd be spending something like £80. And that's just me here. So you can imagine what families are suffering. With children who need the heating on. For the warmth. And for the hot water. And everything else. And to cook. So. I'll play that again. All right. Uh, that about it. Right, let's have a listen from here. The way when you Lovely. leave the studio, so good luck with that. Um, Tommy Robinson. See, I answer your questions. I know you do. And yeah. I you appreciate what I said. that, and so do the audience. Uh, Tommy Robinson, people have been protesting in his name. What do you make of Tommy Robinson? Is he a good guy in no, your eyes? No. No. He, no. All of that lot, we have nothing to do with what, them. Even the protesters who have got banners up saying to Tia Keir. You agree with them on the policing and justice? We, we, we agree with ourselves. I'm not aligning ourselves with uh, Tommy Robinson's lot in any shape right, or form. All right, but tell me... Not aligning ourselves with uh, Tommy Robinson's lot in any shape or form. Wow. Well, bye-bye, reform. Bye-bye. Don't let the door hit you on the way out. Because in five years' time, those few thousand seats you got, or whatever you got, you won't have. Because people were... There's a, a YouTuber I watch, and he was pushing reform. He was pushing people to vote reform, vote reform. My son said to me, oh, vote reform, Mum, vote reform. And I thought, hmm, 
know, I thought he was part of UKIP. Is he flip flopping? We didn't know. I didn't know what he stood for. And I thought, I'm not going to vote for someone. And people were saying, oh, he'll stop the boats. He'll stop the boats. He will not stop the boats. Believe me. He will say whatever you want him to say. He is not going to stop the boats. He'll say what you you want him to say because he wants to get in as Prime Minister. Please, if anyone takes anything from this reform and Nigel Farage and this dipshit will not stop the boats. Right? Now, I've just ranted on long enough. I've shown you clips of the march yesterday, which I was so proud of. I really was. But there also a video was shown. Now, I don't know if you can just watch that video on its own. But if not, there's plenty of people out there who've got that video on their recordings. Go and watch them. Go and watch it. Because... This was not a march for Tommy Robinson. It came out a march to unite the UK, the British citizens, the British people, the people, even Iranians and Muslims and Sikhs and all that lot. If you love our country as much as we love it, you are welcome. We will well, open arms with you. We will really, really will embrace you. And I know quite a few. I do. Right? However, like I said, yesterday was a brilliant day. And we was just waiting for the newspapers to see these headings. Oh, all, apparently one newspaper <laughs> was using old photo clips from the March last time when Oh, the nice police let two pro-Palestinians walk down the road with a great big bang, a uh, flag, and walk them straight past these pubs where it's full of British patriots. What was they expecting? Oh, it's all right, man. man. It's just a, a, a Palestinian dickhead out there. You know what I mean? Let him go. No trouble. No. They've all been fueled up by then. The march was over with, really. A lot of them had gone and headed to the pubs. So they're all fueled up. Yes, they're going to kick off. And this police led these two guys past it. So what happened? Five or six people got arrested. Oh, no, no, not the two Palestinians. Not them two Palestinians. No, no. Five or six of the and more, maybe, of the British people. And they was using clips today of that incident, I believe. It had nothing to do with yesterday. Yesterday, even the head police officer, who one of the organisers had been talking to on a daily basis about this marching, arranging it and discussing it with him and everything, the head police officer stated to two of the other men who helped organise this, right, that there had been no arrests. Now, for the tens of thousands of people, and not just a couple of thousand, tens of thousands of people were there. So ignore what the papers are saying, or oh, only a couple of thousand Two, three, that. No, there was not. There was that many. They had to move the starting point further down the road because it was causing havoc outside the train station. That's how many people. And it still went past the flipping train station. The the queue of people still went past the flipping train station. And then there was thousands who were stopped from getting into the march. Oh, no. Sorry. No, no. Sorry, can't let you through here. No, sorry. You've got to go two miles down there, three miles down there, and three miles back. Even though they could see the people in a hundred yards away. 
but the police will not let them through. Would not let them. Now, what is going to cause trouble? Something like that. Thousands of them were being turned away, was not allowed to join. And to be honest with you, I, me personally, I'd have gone, you know what, go fuck yourself. I'm going, come on, I'd have gone down that route. I'd have gone the three miles down the road, five miles down the road. I'd have walked the ten miles of me to join them. And then I'd have gone and said, can I just say, can I get on stage? I need to talk to someone. And then I'd have hopefully got the message through that the police down that end are stopping people like me and others from walking a hundred metres down the road. Thousands. Because, hang on, you know what I mean? You could see the organisation, you could see them all there with the flags and thousands of people and they wouldn't let them through. And that one woman only come out to get some water. Right? <laughs> I think next time, if they do anything like this, they need to have some vending stands there. But I think you need a special license for that, right? Or even just buy the bottle of water and give it out to the people for free. You know what I mean? So they don't have to walk out again to go to the shop and not get back into the family. Because if that had been me, I'd be kicking off. They'd have arrested me and took me away. I think they could put a, a straight jacket on me because I would have been kicking off like no one's business. Anyway, we, it was a great day yesterday and I'm going to leave it at that. I'm not going to ruin it anymore. Then what? Richard Toys and some very naive, beyond. Cabbage, uh, not even what's that thing beyond his? Not cabbages. What can you got to get you? Just very naive, not knowing the law properly, police. Okay? But then again, they are only doing what they've been told by their commanders. So if you've got a complaint, you need to put it into their commanders. Because that was just ridiculous. Just utterly ridiculous anyway thank you for watching this video i hope you see all that live yesterday and if you didn't please go and watch the live one go and look, watch the whole lot because i was so darn proud well until tomorrow i'll be back doing my normal lives at 8 p.m so till tomorrow stay safe and be good.